Hi, third grade. Today's the big day. We are going to be finishing up unit six and then taking the unit six assessment. So let's get started with a good drill sounds warm up. Let's start with our new unit six sound cards. Repeat after me. A, Alaska, a. Uh. I, animal, a uh, or i. Uh. I, champion, e. Schwa, wagon, a uh, or i. Uh. I, itch, i. Uh. I, pine, i. I, hi, i. Why, cry, i. And why, baby, e. Nice work. Okay, before we take our unit six assessment, I want to review building three words with you. The first word has three syllables, and it is abandon. Ah, uh, how would I build that? Please don't say I hope short you, right? We know in unit six that when you're in an open syllable by itself, and that's the exception, it's that a Alaska, ah, uh, right? This one's easy, ban, go. B, and then yes, I could do this A-N, fan an, right? A ban, done. Do you remember? D, it is O-N, that's tricky. That, that's, a, that's a schwa there at the end. So remember when we mark it, you always scoop your syllables first. Is there a vowel in every scoop, in every syllable? Yes, this A is included there on that green card. You can't see it as clearly when it's on there, but yes. A uh, is what kind of syllable? Right, it's an exception because it typically would say A, but in this case, it's making the schwa sound. Ban is closed, right? It's a short U, or short A, sorry. Done. It's closed, but I really do. We don't say abandon, so I'm going to say this has the schwa sound here for abandon. All right. The next word also has three syllables. It's confident. Confident. I hope you feel confident about taking the unit six test in a moment. I think you should be confident with the first syllable, con. Go. On, right, C-O-N. Now be careful here. Con, fa, dent. What are we going to do with fa? You hear the F. It's not, you hear that schwa sound? So what makes the schwa sound in the middle of a word when it's an open syllable? Right, it's that I, animal, a, uh, or I. Good. And then dent, confident. Right, D, E, what's our blend at the end? N, T, very good. All right, let's mark that one up super quick. Con, F, Dent. Con is closed, right? We have a short vowel there. What do we do with this? It looks open because that vowel is not closed in, is it? But it's not saying phi like a normal open syllable would, right? It's making that schwa sound. So it's an open syllable exception. And then dent, I think you can clearly see that that vowel is closed in by that blend. That's why it has a short sound. Very good, let's do one more. The last one I have for you is also three syllables. And the word is, oh yes, medium. Say it, medium. Me, go ahead. Mm -hmm. D, be careful. It's not D-E. And we know this has um, U-M. So if it's followed by a vowel, we have to put that I, champion, E. Me, Let's, let's mark it. Come on, come on. Me, D, um, open, right? That is a true open one. 
D is an open exception though, because this sounds like an E. Do you remember if it's followed by a vowel, we mark it with a E sound. And then this is closed, medium. Very good. All right, third grade, let's get ready to take out your composition book and get ready to do our unit six test. Okay, in your composition book, you are going to turn in the back to page 70 and 71. Take a moment and put on um, the date at the top, whatever today's date is. And you're going to put test for unit number, put in a six there, please. Okay, so in your composition book, I'm on page 70. Get the date and test for unit number six written at the top. Okay. Now, since this is an assessment, I cannot give you um, the answers. So you're just going to do your very, very best, okay? All right. We're going to start off with the sound section. So find sound number one and get ready to write. Sound number one is Eh, say it. Eh. I lied. It's not eh. That would just be I, itch, eh. We're harder than that now. Okay. But your sound is I. Say it. I. Now there are some things we learned. See if you can come up third grade with all three sounds that correspond to I. Pause the video if you need time to get them down. Okay, move over to number two. The sound this time is uh. Say it. Uh. Three things for uh. Pause if you need time. All right, go down to the next row, find number three. The sound for this one is E. Say it, E. There are four things to write, E. Take your time, write neat. And sound number four, IV. Say it, if. Okay, so really quickly, let's double check your sound section and make sure you have the right sounds. Number one, I. Number two, a. Uh. Number three, e. And number four, if. All right, move down to the next row. We have some sound alike words coming. Number one is by. Now listen for the sentence so you know which one to spell. The story is by a famous author. By. Number two. Oh. I owe him money. O. Oh. Number three. High. The shelf is too high to reach. High. And number four. Bye. The baby waved bye. All right, if you need any of those repeated, just back up the video and re-listen to it. Now we're moving on to the very important section called words. In this section, you will be 
dividing each base word into its syllable parts. If there's a suffix, you know the drill. Make sure you circle it, okay? You're going to find and mark any open syllable exceptions. And you're also going to find and mark any open syllable exceptions with both A and I. So A, Alaska, A, uh, I, animal, A, uh, or I. Eh, you're going to be looking for those. Okay? Let's try word number one. The first word has a base word and a suffix. So listen. Dependable. Say the word. Dependable. If you are a dependable friend, your friends can count on you to be there. Dependable. Scoop the base word into its syllables. Circle the suffix. Dependable. All right, number two. Plenty. Say it. Plenty. You have plenty of time to take this test. Plenty. Scoop your syllables and mark your vowels, please. Word number three, extra, say it, extra, spell it, scoop it, and mark your syllables and vowels. You shouldn't need too much extra time to take this, extra. Number four, imitate, hmm. imitate. My brother was trying to imitate the dog barking, imitate, imitate, spell it, scoop it, and mark it up, please. Imitate. All right, and number five. Studio. Studio. The artist recorded her song in the studio. Studio. Again, you're spelling it, scooping it into its syllable parts, and labeling those syllables and vowels. All right. Now we should be ready to move over to page 71 for your sentences. Let's start with the first sentence, please. To my amazement. Mm, so think which two. To my amazement, comma, <laughs> to my amazement, be careful with amazement, you'll get a point for it, so think about it. To my amazement, comma, that lady likes many animals. All right, I'll keep repeating it. To my amazement, make sure you put a comma, that lady likes many animals. This is an important one, third grade, to take your time on. You'll be getting four points for this. Think about amazement. Think about lady. And then you're... Um, trick words, many animals. I'll read it one more time. To my amazement, 
That lady likes many animals. Check for all of those things. Did you scoop it into phrases? Did you put a capital letter? Did you put punctuation? To my amazement, that lady likes many animals. All right, and let's just do the last sentence. Are you ready? Jake, that's his name. Jake is swimming confidently. Ooh, we went over confident earlier. Jake is swimming confidently like a champion. Jake is swimming con, think, you know, separate it. Confidently. Ugh. Jake is swimming confidently like a champion. Champion. And don't forget capital letter, punctuation. Scoop it into phrases. Jake is swimming confidently like a champion. All right, third grade. Do your best and bring that back to me when you return to school if you're taking this from home. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.